I think I'll just start this out um, with shoes. So we'll start at the bottom. Start out with these. So this is the first pair I'm gonna show. Balenciaga Strike Boots. This is in the Croc leather variation. I'm pretty sure these are calf leather, but it's, it has the Croc embossed detailing on it. And this is actually a women's pair, but they fit so big. This is a size 40. And I usually wear like a eight and a half to nine in men's US and um, these fit me good. So maybe a little tight after a while, but they're good. And I actually got these for 285 with the box and I've worn them a few times. So they're a little more used from when I got them, but so next up, these Gweedies. These are Gweedy 788V. See the vibram sole. And these I just got recently. They're still pretty new. You can see they aren't really that creased yet. I mean, compared to other pairs, this is kind of just how they come. When I first got these in, they smelled so strong, like the leather. Smell like a brand new couch, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. I might keep them, I might flip them because I got them for a good price. I got these for under 700, so. You see the nice round, round shape at the toe. They're like perfect shape, honestly, but I think I just prefer something chunkier now. I'll just do all my leather shoes first, I guess. These are actually from 424, um, kind of a random brand. I had the Prada Derbies, the, um, the ones that everyone goes crazy for. Uh, I had those ones. So with the Prada Derbies, I needed a US 8. And the listing I bought, the guy put them as a US 8, but they're actually a UK 8, so US 9. And those fit like a size up, so they actually fit like a 10. I made some money off those anyways, so it's okay, I guess. But I actually found these in LA. I found these brand new for 128 at Wasteland. Yeah, honestly, I kind of like these more than the Prada Derbies now. Um, I mean, your shoe covers the red part and stuff, so it's just a perfect black chunky derby. You can see the sole, that double stacked sole. Has a nice little heel. Definitely similar to the Prada Derbies. Um, not as shiny leather. But similar height, I believe. Perfect derbies for me. Okay, my last pair. These are so heavy, but my last pair of leather shoes. These Julius, 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 however you want to say it, boots. These are from Fall Winter 13. They're all full grain cow leather. Size one. Um, they fit kind of big for a size one. Uh, they fit more like a nine and a half to a 10. And I thought a size one was more like eight and a half to a nine. So they're kind of big on me but they're still really nice. They have sort of like this shroud on the front. It's kind of like the leather just folded over and stapled. Huge Vibram sole, super chunky. They have a big heel and then even on the inside, I think they actually give you a few inches on the on the insole. Really nice boots. I think these, these retail for like $1,500. Got them for under 300. See the back zips on them too. Nice little heel on them. These also have a pretty tall toe box, but it's also really nice and round. Definitely need big pants with these unless you want to tuck it behind right here. First pair of sneakers. These are just my beaters. Pair of Gats from Margiela. In the brown color with the gum bottom. Cream laces, of course. And um, this is an OG pair from the earlier season, so they don't have the branding on the bottom or the insole, you see they're definitely beat, got holes in there. But I love these. These are so comfortable to wear now. Just perfectly broken in. Good colorway. I had the all gray suede ones before from the newer season. I was kind of scared to beat those up just because of the light gray suede. I didn't think it would look as well, but these ones definitely, I'm not scared to like just beat these up. Next for sneakers, I got these Balenciaga runners. This is just the all white pair. They say size 40, but 
they're a women's 10. And to me, a women's 10 is like a men's nine. I don't know how it's a 40 because a 40 is a men's seven, but they definitely fit bigger. Um, but they probably fit more like an eight. They are still a little tight on me, so I have to wear them without the insole. Still really nice. Go with any big pants because it'll just fall right here on the back part. Kind of just like right here. Just sit there and um, it'll help your pants from dragging. I got these for 315 ship. For my last sneaker, it's these Gucci, um, Gucci screener sneakers. And this is just another pair I use for beaters. Just go nice with vintage fits. Little beat on the bottom. They're really nice, really comfortable. They're lined with like a terry cloth, the GG monogram. The opal, this little opal thing is so nice. They kind of have a similar shape to Dunks, but they're really flat. Uh, I mean, you guys will see on, on feet, but like right here, they're really flat. They definitely look a little worn, but they do come pre-worn or like pre-distressed. Just good beaters. Just throw on with random fits when you don't really care or whatever. And these I also got, I mean, I got these for like 150. For my last footwear item, it's gonna be a pair of Visbum Christos. These are from 2008, actually. I think this is from like the first run of Christos that ever dropped. Um, I think it was like two or three colorways that came out. Definitely a good pair. This pair has been re-glued. Looks kind of bad up close, but make it work. Just use these as beaters too. I mean, they're really tanks. Christos are with the price they're at as slides for a reason. I mean, they really hold up. These have the Visbum, the Visbum branded sole. These ones are a medium, they fit me good. Heel drag, not bad. See a lot of pairs with way worse heel drag than this. Black upper, kind of like a cork tan sole. I realized I have one more pair that I wanted to show. These are just like my everyday beaters. Nice little derby to throw on. These are Skechers actually. See right there, you see the leathers cracking like crazy too. Obviously not gonna be like the best quality. These were probably like 50 bucks retail or something, but they are nice and sturdy. They are very chunky too, so they have the perfect shape. And I got them for like 20 bucks. You can see the insides all torn apart, but they're still comfortable. I still wear them. 20 bucks, Skechers derbies, perfect beaters. Starting with clothing, um, We'll start off heavy with these uh, Rick Owens Bold and Banana Cut. This is the Dark Shadow pair. And these are just super long. You see the zipper going all the way down the leg, right here. And when you unzip, they just flare like crazy right here. These are honestly too long for me. I'm probably just gonna sell these also, even though I love these. I got these for a really good price too. I think I got these for I think I paid 600 shipped. I would keep these if they fit me better, but just too long, so I'm gonna be letting them go. They just drag way too much. They cover my whole shoe even when I wear the Balenciagas, so I don't wanna just be picking them up all the time. I don't know. It's not worth it to me. I size 29 and they're still too big for me, so if you want these, let me know. You can see the back too. Anyways, next for jeans, I just have these uh, vintage Levi's 501s. They have some distressing on the front. Just super nice fade. See, so they have like some paint right here. All natural distressing. I didn't do any of this. You can see even at the bottom, there's some distressing in the back, some heel bite. But yeah, just super nice pair of 501. This is just a pair that I'll never get rid of, honestly, because the fade is just so hard to find a pair like this. They're actually not super old. I think they're a made in Mexico pair. So early 2000s probably. Got them for like 40 bucks at a flea market. Next pair of jeans that I have are these um, 517s. Orange tab. And these are like a gray wash. They were dark gray and they kind of faded. Nice details on these. It's hard to find 517s in any color besides blue, honestly. I mean, there's the corduroy pairs that are in like tan and stuff. It's hard to find black, hard to find gray. I definitely recommend if you find a pair, don't pass up on them because I passed up on pairs before. Was waiting so long to find another one. Subtle flare, like barely a flare, honestly, on these. Next pair of pants that I have, just these thrifted um, flared dress pants. 
They flare out really nicely. Fits super nice on me. It's hard to find good black flares as a guy, I feel like. If you can fit women's sizes, it's definitely worth checking the women's section because they have way more fits than the men's, obviously. Men's is just gonna be a lot of straight fits, relaxed fits, slim fits. But if you want a good flared pair, I would say check the women's section. Know your measurements and stuff. This next pair is actually from H&M, but um, they're just a wide leg dress pant. And these, again, I had to go to the women's section to find these because it's just so hard to find them in men's. If you just go in store, try on different pairs, see which one fits you best. I'm sure you'll find a pair that fits you good and that you like. I mean, these don't have any specific shapes to them or anything, like in the hips or anything like that. So they're really unisex. I think these were like 30 bucks. I know Koss has a good pair that I've seen a lot of people get, but those are still like 90 bucks, I think. So I just went and looked for a pair like this and I found these, so I'm satisfied with these. And then another pair actually from weekday this time, um, but this is the weekday Ace wide leg baggy jean. And um, these are obviously just a good alternative to like your Balenciaga acne uh, pants. And um, I think I got these on sale for like 40 bucks. Just good, especially if you don't want to spend a bunch of money if it's not really something that you know you're gonna love, um, just something you want to try. These were definitely good for that. I know there's a lot of pairs um, that kind of taper still at the bottom. They're really wide on top, but then there'll be like a balloon fit or like a, yeah, like a balloon fit, I guess. But um, these ones kind of flare out actually at the bottom, which I love versus all those other ones that taper. So I definitely recommend these. Next up for bottoms, I have this pair of vintage, uh, like a light wash flare. These have a super nice fade to them. Nice little just one knee blowout. They also have really nice wear on the bottom. See, look, this is the back of them. And even on the front, um, it's like a raw hem. And the raw hem has just been worn down. See right there, it, it just folds by itself on that leg, but see the back. But yeah, these are super nice. Uh, I got these for like 30 bucks at a vintage store out here. And they just fit me perfect, good wear. Super comfortable because they're so worn in. And these last two are pretty crazy, but start off with this one. This is a pair of Levi's 746. So they, they're like another bell bottom fit, like the 684s, 646. I think this one has a longer rise and they were wider. They were a little wider up here, but uh, you can see they were taken in. You can see the seam right here, but they still have a big bell fit at the bottom. Just tons of stains and marks and repairs all throughout on both the legs. I mean, you can see right there, you see all that work on the denim. But yeah, just going all the way down both legs. You can see right there too. But super nice pair, really nice fade to them. They're really light wash, but it's kind of like a sand wash. They stack nicely on me, they're a little long. See the orange tab, of course. This pair is actually from the 70s. I know a lot of orange tabs are from 90s, 80s, but this is actually a 70s pair. You can see all the heel bite right there for the, on the back of both of the legs, but yeah, just a super nice pair still. Good repairs all throughout. And definitely love how these look. And this last pair is pretty crazy. Um, one of my craziest vintage uh, items I've probably ever had. This is a pair of 40s French chore style pants. You can see they have repairs just all, all throughout. See the bottom hem right there. Like released and repaired, I believe, or they just extended it. But um, see a little rip on this on this one leg right here but super nice pair. They almost have like a double knee, it looks like, with the repairs on both the legs. You can see this panel right here, and then on the other leg too, this panel right here. And um, these are still a little short, but still just a crazy pair. Yeah, these are, these are crazy. And I actually got these in a bundle with two other pairs. Uh, I sold the two other pairs. Um, 
One of them was a pretty crazy patchwork pair. I got like 300 for those, so I let those go. And um, I would let these go too for a good price, but I still like them for now while I have them. You can see the old hardware, all custom. Even the pockets, mismatched flannel pattern in this one. Next, we'll get into shirts. This is one's actually a long sleeve. Um, it's chopped. This is a old um, punk band from the 90s. There's kids on LSD. And um, this is pretty rare from what I know. I actually got this from my stepdad. Um, he used to always wear this when he was drumming. You can see the sleeve hit right there too, which kids on LSD. But um, other sleeve, nothing. But the back is also crazy on this one. Vintage, of course, made in USA. Next tee is a Motley Crue tee from the 90s. There was a licensing, but it's just so washed out. You can kind of see it right there. It's so hard to see the year now, but um, I think it was 93 or 94 or something, but licensed to Brockham, so I, this was probably on a Brockham. Single stitch all around. Actually, it was double down here, but the one of the hems came loose. It kind of fits asymmetrical at the bottom, but just super nice, super thin. Um, it's so faded, the neck is like a different wash. Just love that detail. Some holes in it, but it's a vintage tee, so. Back, just plain, super nice fade. So next one is actually the Slayer tee. That kind of started it all for me. So this was my stepdad's also, and um, to the back, touring in the abyss from 1991. The licensing says 1990 though, so you can see it's on the Brockham, on the white and blue Brockham tag. Size XL, but um, fits like a medium more, I'd say. Um, single on the sleeves. Still in good condition, has a hole right there. Uh, it's just really thin, perfect like beater tee, honestly. I used to just wear it, not really care about it, like wear it to school and stuff, but um, now I obviously cherish it more, but I'll still wear it and just beat it up. I mean, it's a vintage tee, so can't baby it. This next one is probably my favorite tee that I have right now. It's a vintage 90s Nirvana boot. See the front right here? Super boxy fit, fits me perfect too. You can see in the sleeve and the back hit. Good for layering a long sleeve under. Singles all around. Yeah, just a good tee. And it is a boot, but it is from the 90s. It's not like a not like a reprint boot or anything. Just super thin tee also. Really comfortable to wear. This is another good one that I have, just a just kind of a basic one that I like to wear. It has more of just like a regular fit, not like really boxy or anything like my other ones. But um, this was more just a standard fit to the back here right here. And this is actually one of my mom's favorites. Um, so I kind of have it just for her. Good tee. Single all around also on this one. You can see the licensing right there from 94. Joan Jet On a Hanes Ultraweight. This last tee, I'll just show real quick. It's not really anything crazy. Just a NoFX tee from like 2001, I think. The licensing right down there. 2002. Cool print on the front. Just a pretty basic tee, just black. Plain on the back. Not really that faded yet, but it'll get there eventually. On the Delta Pro weight tag. For your sweaters, I'll start with this chrome hoodie. This is actually a vintage chrome hearts hoodie. Let's see. See the tag right there. But um, I got this one from Japan. It has like the cemetery kind of detail going on both the sleeves and the back. And it's actually a raglan cut, which is pretty cool. I feel like you don't see a lot of uh, chrome art hoodies in a raglan cut. Like a double cross on the front. See a little bit of cracking on it. This is from like the early 2000s, so. 
still pretty good condition for how old it is. It is a little bit faded, but super boxy, super wide and cropped. Uh, I think it's like a women's small, so that's why it fits like this. Next, I have this Vetmont hoodie from um, Debna Era 2018. It's the misplaced logo hoodie. The hood is placed not where a normal hood would be placed on a hoodie. It's kind of in the center of the front. So the front is shorter, more fabric uh, extends out on the back and it gives it kind of this weird scrunch look. And this, this logo up here kind of gets hidden when you're wearing it. Still have the laces in it too, which is kind of hard to find for some reason. See the logo on the back on the hood. Good Demna Era piece. Once again, like a really wide crop boxy fit. Um, this one's a size small, but fits kind of like a like a boxy medium. Good quality. I think retail was like a thousand dollars. Last for hoodies, I have this uh, Hysteric Glamour Search and Destroy hoodie, size medium, and you can see like, kind of like a V cut right here. Super soft, really comfortable and good fit. Nice big hood. It kind of has like an after hood almost. Uh, you see like the collar right there and the hood kind of just attached on around it. See the logo right here, some cracking on it. This one is kind of old, I'm pretty sure. So, and my last piece that I want to show in this video is going to be this bomber jacket. Uh, this is a vintage one from the 70s. This one's still pretty good condition. Uh, it has some wear, you can see like on the collar. The cuffs are still pretty good, but there's a stain on one side. I think it's on the other side. Yeah, right here. I don't know what that is or how that happened, but you can't really see it when, when you're wearing it. And I actually thrifted this one for like 30 bucks. I've been looking for one for a while. Um, it's hard to find them for like under a hundred. It's also hard to find one that fits really good. A lot of them fit so short and cropped. And a lot of, a lot of the newer ones just don't look good too. The newer ones are really puffy. The material just doesn't look as good. Good piece. Goes with so many fits. That was my first time uh, making anything like this, so. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you guys are also interested in anything, just let me know. I'll have my Instagram down below and uh, my store page also. And yeah, thank you.